The Sikh people don't mess around and today we're going to see a man prove that point. Hi friends, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Coventry in England. Firearms Legal Protection is who I trust to help me after a use of force incident. If you're a Firearms Legal Protection member, you can attend our monthly Active Self Protection training seminars for free. Check out all they offer to their members at the link below. See these three guys walk in and they have face masks on and hoods up. The guy that's working the counter, you can see from his turban that he is a Sikh. They're gonna try to rob him, but he ain't having it. Let's listen in. The employee was not hurt. The three guys did run off. You might have noticed that one of them had a knife there. The police say they're looking for him, but without any descriptions to go on, I doubt they're having any success. Hey, kudos to him for standing up for himself. Listen, please go check out the Active Self Protection Unlimited app. Pretty please with sugar on top. I promise you, you'll love it and it'll be worth it for you. Once again, this is a relic of the pandemic. These three guys walk in with face masks on and hoods up. I think that's absolutely a pre-attack indicator in 2023. So if I'm working in any kind of retail environment, somebody comes in hood up and mask on, that's a humongous red flag. I would immediately get distance from them and tell them to take that off. Now, I'm not saying that you pepper spray them or anything like that, but I am saying that is absolutely a marker that bad things are coming. And so I would make them take the hoods off and show their face or get out of the store. And I get it, some people go, hey, I wanna wear a mask or whatever. Great, show your face to the camera first and then you can put your mask on uh, and those things. Now, these guys are then gonna come and just kind of think about being customers for a minute. Remember, they always get the first move. And as he jumps over the counter, the guy goes and makes a move for his ceremonial knife. Now, if you're not familiar with Sikhism at all, uh, you know, the Sikh people, that part of their religion is they carry a kirpan, which is, you know, a dagger, uh, traditionally a little longer, like 30 centimeters, but the newer ones, the ones that they will tend to wear today are a shorter knife. And even in England, because they wear them for peaceful purposes and they use them as part of their religion, they're allowed to do so. So that's what he's doing is using that. Uh, and Sikhs are part of one of their values is being fearless in battle. And I've got great respect for them. So he's going to go get for it. And I want you to recognize though, how long it takes him to get that sucker out. So, and I get it, this is a ceremonial, uh, you know, knife, right? But for him, it's not ceremonial. It's also used to protect his life. And he does so here. And I want you to recognize though, that when you're doing that, your draw time does matter. Now, in this case, him merely fighting with them and going to draw something drove them off. They weren't expecting any resistance at all. And when they got any resistance whatsoever, it was effective at keeping them at bay. However, I wouldn't count on that necessarily. I would be very leery of that. And you need to be able to get your defensive tool out quickly. Specifically here, you can see because the third guy who's kind of sort of walking out now has a big old knife of his own. Now, of course, do you want to fight a guy with a knife with a knife yourself? I don't, man. A knife fight is never any good time whatsoever. They say that the winner of a, a knife fight dies on the way to the hospital and the loser dies at the scene. So if you can possibly help it, that's not what you'd want to do. But this shows even in a place like England, for golly sakes, man, uh, that, that armed self-defense is effective. Multiple attackers here and our defender, as soon as their force monopoly evaporated, they left. And that to me is incredibly important. Now, I also note here that he sees them guys starting to argue with him because he's got a knife as well. And so our guy goes and gets a cricket bat, which is great. Give him a little bit more distance, a little bit more time. I'd much rather have a purpose-built self-defense tool like a firearm for that. Of course, it's England. That's really not possible in terms of for defensive use at all. I also want to say, I think it was a really good idea here. He didn't chase these guys. He went to the door to lock it and uh, to keep them at bay and then called for the authorities. And I think that was the right choice. And I think he did an excellent job of that. I got nothing but respect for this guy in a place where self-defense is highly regulated, darn near illegal. He used what was available to him and, and his attitude, his skills, and his plan carried the day. He covered his ass. 